movement. Breathe out, down. So, we connect the breath to the movement. Breathe in on the movement. Breathe out on the stretch. I want you to relax on the stretch and allow the muscles to elongate. Breathe in. And breathe out. We hold it for two seconds, right? Which is Aaron Maddie's active isolated stretching. We prevent the stretch reflex from happening. The stretch reflex is a reaction that happens after a second and a half. The muscle, when it's going beyond its level of comfort, um, will contract and say, oh no, we can't do this. So we try to trick it and say, oh, but you can, by just stretching it a little more every time. And, and uh, it does, it tricks it, okay? So we'll stop, we'll do side bends because I like side bends and I like the hips, I like moving the hips. So start, again, mountain pose, right? Feet hip width apart, breathe in, breathe out, butt against the wall, heels are against the wall, shoulders are against the wall, back of your head is against the wall, right? And we do a side bend. Now the side bend comes from the hips. I'm not separating your upper and your lower body. I have it moved together. It's like the letter C, all right? So breathe in, breathe out, keep your head back. You might wanna hike your shoulder, don't. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Hold one, 1,002, just keep your head level. So make it all one motion, breathe in, breathe out. If you want, get your arms straight, keep that back shoulder back, try to reach past the knee. That's your gauge, breathe. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. I'm gonna try to do five of them, I'm horrible at counting. I, I kind of just do it until my body feels like I've done enough, I'm gonna try to do five of each. So we'll pretend this one is now five. Breathe, one, 1,002, one, 1,002. I'm gonna just throw in one movement. I'm gonna just add and extend with your upper body. Now, if you're a football player and you're doing this and you have shoulder pads, it's not gonna work. The pads are gonna get in the way, okay? So now we're gonna do something called flat back forward, right? So I'm looking above the horizon always. It's kind of like a three-point stance. Bend my knees, hips go back, shoulder kind of go, shoulders go forward. You're aiming your belly for the ground, squeezing your shoulder blades together, right? There's no rounding of your upper back or your lower back. Breathe out. And you want to be able to get your hands to the ground, flat backing, looking the head. And then come up, breathe. One, two. Come up. Breathe out. Okay. Add a little breathing. And come down. So open your legs a little bit wider. Let's just do a little bit of a lateral lunge, okay? So it's you bend one knee and your hips move back. The other leg stays straight. Your hips move back. Breathe in, breathe out, come up. I'm gonna show you this front. Again, it's the flat back, shoulders pointing down to the ground. It's a good little stretch right in here. This foot stays flat. Breathe in, breathe out. The outside of this foot stays flat. Don't let it roll in like that. You wanna keep that. And the motion, I'm just gonna switch it for you, is back. But back, this is not only good for football. It's good for running. Before you run, swimming, it's just it's getting everything. We're getting legs, hamstrings, glutes, groin, breathe. Now I'm gonna add something. I'm gonna add a rotation. So you go, right, notice how my butt moves back. Get a really good stretch here. I'm gonna bring my opposite hand in line with my toe. I'm gonna rotate towards my bent knee. Breathe out. Come up, breathe in. And breathe out. Now again, if you're on the field and you're doing this, and you try to reach up overhead, it's going to be hard. So you don't have to. And a good on the field is this. Up, stretch, up. And then you can just rotate towards the bent knee. Rotate, right? Through then, come up. Step in. Come forward. Standing hamstring. I'll go a little sideways. So the foot is out, about a foot from the other foot, right? This knee, you're going to bend. This one we quad set, which is we push, pretend that you're pushing the back of the knee to the floor, all right? So, and you squeeze in your quad. When you squeeze the quad, you release that hamstring. 
kind of mimics running, believe it or not. It's that first step of running, all right? So it gives us, you know, a little bit of elongation, a little bit of length. And uh, it lets, lets your leg know it can push a little further forward than it thinks it can. Now I was just sucking up through my chest like this and my shoulders don't. Lift from the belly button, drop that front foot, hips forward, shoulders back. Breathe out. Breathe in, sit back. Knee over the ankle, right? Shoulders forward. And you ultimately want to get your belly to your thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Go. It's really good for your psoas muscle, which is a big running muscle. Hip forward, shoulders back. Breathe. And one. Two, breathe, two, so you get into the motion. So here, now I count one, one thousand, two. I'd say that's about five. And the transition is just come up and step the other foot forward. Okay, so I'm just, I'm trying to stay in the line. But it's brought back. It's all about hip, back, hip forth. Okay, hip in front, hip back, body follow. Nice stretch through so here, you might feel it in your back. This is three. If you're a little more flexible and you want a little bit more, you can come all the way, okay? Breathe in, breathe out. One more, breathe. And up. Oh, nice. Okay, come here. So, what we're gonna do, um, I want you to come up and cross, knee to knee, give me ankle to knee, and sit back in the chair and come up and switch. I'll show it to you sideways so it's a good glue. Cross knee to knee. Oh, you get to see my dirty foot. Butt back, flat back, sit back. Oh, that's a good hip stretch, butt stretch, glute stretch, right? I don't wanna stretch laying down before we go on a field or before we participate because we wanna prepare our body for movement when not laying down. Unless you're a wrestler, it's a whole different thing. Okay, I do have ground stretch that we do after. But this right now, I'm just gonna do one more of this. Okay. Breathe. Okay, one more. Now I'm just gonna do triangle to pyramid. Right? I only did three. Just because I'm sick of them. All right, so open this one foot, right? Your hips face forward, your shoulders face forward, your back against the wall. The hip, right? Triangle's about the hip. This groin, shoulder back, head back. I want you to bring your body, let your hip move this way and your body go this way. This is your gauge, I want your hand above your knee or below your knee, right? And I want your shoulders stacked. And then heel toe so you can get a nice, good stretch. And you're elongating your head's in line with your spine. Now I'm going to stretch hold one, 1,002. I'm going to breathe. I come up, I rotate hip forward. Bring my shoulders back. That's a nice little stretch right through here. All right? And then if you can, walk your hand down, breathe. Now you can round your nose to your knee. You can come here, flat, wherever you can go to. And you'll know when you do it. And then breathe in, breathe out. Now, if you have one stretch I would have you all do, it would be this one, all right? And so come forth. So it's triangle. Again, if you have shoulder pads on or helmets, if I'm on the football field and it's before a game, my hand is here. I'm going to rotate you like this. I'm going to breathe out like this. And then I come back to a reverse triangle, which the shoulder points forward. So one more. Triangle, breathe. Up and around, reverse, breathe out, come forward, come back, okay, come in, flat back forward, come up, rotate, reach behind you, so now your hips are involved, and then breathe in, come up, rotate, reach behind you, flat back forward, breathe, come up, rotate, reach behind you. This time do a little mini squat, like a three-point stance. Come up, squat, like a three-point stance. Rotate, this should feel really good in your lower back. This is really, really good for a change of direction. It helps prevent a lot of falls. Okay, so now this side. 
Head moves this way, head moves this way, reach. Drop your hand above or below your knee, add the arm or not. Breathe out, one, one, thousand, two. Come up, rotate, hips to the front. Just one more, reach down, drop your hands, 